Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Type Repair video. In today's episode, we're going to be replacing the LCD assembly on this MacBook Air. Uh, this is going to be an M2 edition. Uh, this is a model A2681 in midnight. Uh, we do have these LCD assemblies available either OEM or brand new aftermarket uh, in every color. So midnight, starlight, silver, space gray. If you guys are looking for those, they're going to be linked in the description below or available at techdep.com. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into today's repair. So we're going to start by flipping the unit over and removing the pentalob screws on the bottom. There are four of them. Now we're going to go ahead and take a suction cup to remove the bottom panel. And we're going to switch to a T3 screwdriver and remove these two screws in this retention plate. Uh, this is going to be the battery connector, which we're going to unplug to work on the unit. And we're going to use a plastic pry to, of course, unplug our battery. Now our unit's safe to work on and we can continue. Uh, to continue, we're going to remove uh, these two T3 screws as well as the bracket. These two here and uh, these three, there's one hidden under here, T3 screws as well on the LCD connector. Now we're going to go ahead and unplug our right hand speaker and our Wi-Fi antennas for the right and left speaker Wi-Fi assemblies. We're going to remove uh, this T3 cover as well. And now unplug the left hand speaker assembly. We're going to peel off this little black cover on the bracket here to reveal that third T3 screw. We're gonna unplug the two right hand, the middle and the right hand uh, connectors uh, as these are for the LCD and webcam. Uh, this is your microphone connector here. You don't need to unplug that one. Now we're gonna switch to a T5 screwdriver and remove uh, the two screws, one on either side. And we're gonna continue with that same T3 screwdriver and remove the two screws, one on each side uh, that hold the LCD hinge covers to the top case. And we're gonna fish them out with our plastic spudger. We are going to go ahead and remove this cover over here. These are two T3 screws for this cover. Uh, the connection we're looking for underneath here is going to be the LCD proximity sensor, which is going to be this top one here. We can then go ahead and peel this off of our headphone jack. And now we're going to grab a T5 screwdriver and unscrew these two center screws that hold the Wi-Fi antenna modules. And then there's gonna be one screw on either side. Uh, that's a T5 as well. That's holding the speaker half of that whole Wi-Fi speaker assembly in place. Can now go ahead and remove both of these. We're going to grab a T8 screwdriver and uh, unfasten the eight, sorry, six, a three on either side, T8s, the hinge locations. And last but not least, we're going to take a T3 and remove the two bottom screws located in the center here. As you can see, when we do that, our LCD assembly uh, cables, they go ahead and pop off of the board. We're just gonna double check that our LCD proximity cable is fully freed. 
And now we're going to go ahead and open up the unit in order to remove the LCD. And we can take our bad LCD. We're actually going to leave it here because we do need to take the proximity sensor off to put onto our new display. So we're going to take a T3 screwdriver and on the inside of the cable, right in here, we focus it. So right in here, there is a T3 screw that we now have to remove. So after removing our LCD proximity sensor, we can now grab our new LCD and install it. So it's only gonna install on one side. That's gonna be this hinge here. You're gonna notice there's a little uh, standoff and then a threaded hole, uh, which is where we're going to install this proximity sensor. So after reinstalling our LCD proximity sensor on our new LCD, we can go ahead and prep this guy for installation. As you notice here, we do have an additional bracket uh, that holds the LCD cables in place on the aftermarket LCD that will now have to transfer. Uh, to do this, you're gonna need a PL1 screwdriver and you're gonna wanna install uh, just the two back screws, not the two front T3s, uh, because these also screw through the brackets, the cables, and then onto your top case. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so as you can see here, we have our bracket reinstalled on our new LCD. We're gonna go ahead and remove this little foam covering, take our top case assembly, lay it into place and open it up. Let's open our hinges all the way on both sides first and repeat that process. Now we can go ahead and hold the hinges and close it. Close our hinges down. And the first thing I like to do is line up the proximity sensor for the LCD. Make sure I get it plugged in first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the six T8s that we took out uh, at the LCD hinge locations. Next, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our LCD display connections. and secure these to the top case with the T3 screws that go on either side. All right, so that is our Wi-Fi bracket here, or our LCD bracket here, all reassembled. We're now gonna switch on to the Wi-Fi ones slotting these into place, first clicking in the speaker section, and then clicking in the Wi-Fi antenna. And we're gonna repeat that same process on the left hand, or right hand side here. Speaker first, and then our Wi-Fi antenna. This one's a bit hard to get. I recommend using a plastic spudger or, there you go. If you're lucky, you can get it first try just like that. We're gonna go ahead and switch back to a T5 screwdriver. And we're gonna start with the two outside screws and secure the Wi-Fi speaker antennas to the top case using the outside screws first, like I said, and then work our way inward uh, with these guys here. These are actually the screws uh, that the bottom case uh, secures itself to at the top. That's why we have to pull it down instead of just straight up like we used to on the older MacBook Airs. And if you screw these down too tight, uh, you may not be able to get your bottom cover to click on all the way. So make sure you're not over tightening these. Now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the hinge covers. 
and the T3 screws that hold these down. And keeping with that T3, we're now gonna go ahead and put all of our brackets back down, starting with the center one here. And moving on to the rest of our brackets, we're first just gonna lay them all in place, then go through and secure them. Now they all use the same screws, so you can't really mess this up or put screws in the wrong places. You can, however, put brackets in the wrong places. So make sure you grab the right ones and put them back where they were. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and connect our battery. Again, if you guys saw any parts or tools you needed in today's video, check them out in the link below or check us out at techtup.com. Uh, we do mail-in repair, we do data recovery service. Uh, so if you guys are interested in anything like that, uh, again, check out the links below or check us out at techtep.com. We do it all every day. All right, so before we put our bottom panel on, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the unit and make sure our new LCD works. Oh, as you can see, our new LCD looks great. So let's go ahead and install the bottom case. So you can see here, there are four little clips. They clip onto these four screws at the top that I mentioned earlier, that if you have uh, those screwed in too far, they won't grab, the fingers won't have anything to latch onto, and you'll have to go through and loosen those just a half a turn. All right, so we've got it clipped on at the top. Now we're gonna go ahead and click in the uh, press pins on the bottom and middle. And there's two more right here. And now we can go ahead and screw it in. So you will notice that there's gonna be two slightly longer threaded screws and two slightly shorter threaded screws. The longer ones are at the top uh, and the shorter ones are at the bottom. What I meant to say was the longer ones are at the bottom, the longer thread, and the shorter ones are at the top. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I check out the links below for any parts or tools you saw in today's video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, I'll leave them in the comments, so we'll get back to you. But we'll see you guys in the next episode.